leadership skills and dispositions. What do I think makes a great educational leader? I enjoy being part of the bigger picture thinking at our Kura. As a member of the management team and a leader of the senior syndicate, I've had the privilege of seeing great leaders in action and I'd like to develop my skills in this area. I enter teaching after my children were born and want to consider how best to use my skills and how to develop the new ones I need as my life as a teacher changes. I enjoy the challenge of helping teachers build their professional, interpersonal and intrapersonal capabilities. An effective leader is able to nurture a culture of academic success by being up to date with the best practice, through being open and reflective about their own teaching and learning, and building a community of learners, both adult and child, who are not afraid to take learning risks and challenges to improve their outcomes. I believe excellent leaders have strong communication and relationship building skills. They're able to understand and utilise community networks effectively to promote student achievement and to be responsive to the needs and aspirations of the families, whānau, teachers and the wider community. Building a climate of trust and collegiality aids the building of confidence and the sense of inclusion for all stakeholders. A strong leader can identify and use the strengths our students have from their life experiences and craft them into tools they can use to achieve educationally and in their wider lives. Unfortunately, we too often focus on what our students lack and overlook the experiences and the strengths they already have, which may be missed in a school setting. A strong leader is one who is able to have difficult conversations when required, but is also an active listener and a critical thinker. A sort of leader does not always lead from the front, but provides opportunities for others to share their strengths and gifts and in that way build their own capability. A responsive leader embraces the challenge of being a lifelong learner. They establish environments where people can truly inquire into learning and teaching without feeling that those in management already know the answer. Leadership and the Treaty of Waitangi. I consider it vitally important for us to understand and address the educational disparities between Māori and non-Māori. I believe excellent leadership in this area encourages and develops agentic teachers, teachers who reject deficit thinking when considering achievement of Māori. This leadership reflects commitment to care for Māori students, enabling them to thrive educationally and emotionally as Māori. It is to have high expectations for achievement. It is to focus on enabling all staff to create learning contexts that are responsive to the culture of the child where young Māori can draw on their own knowledge and practices. Using a range of effective strategies and best practice evidence of performance, effective leaders will ensure all staff are supported to build their knowledge and skills and to guide teaching. Expectations and next steps are shared with students. Māori parents, hapū, iwi and the Māori community are acknowledged as key stakeholders in the school. Their involvement and expertise is valued and their views are fundamental to developing the school direction. What is good for Māori learners is good for all learners. We demonstrate caring and commitment to these relationships when we show manakitanga, when we participate in wānanga, when we understand the concepts of whanaunatanga and tangata whenuatanga. Leadership for Future Thinking Schools Future Focus is about supporting learners to recognise that they have a stake in the future and a role and responsibility as citizens to take action to help shape that future. The future is us and we are the future. To be an effective leader in this context requires the ability to develop and communicate a coherent vision, mission or purpose and the ability to get people to identify with, join in and own this vision. Future thinking leaders include opportunities for learners to develop leadership, to be digitally literate, to communicate effectively, to be emotionally and socially intelligent, to be entrepreneurial, problem solvers, global citizens, and to be able to work collaboratively. A future thinking leader expects all teachers to encourage all students to reflect on their own learning process and how they will support them to learn how to learn. Teacher learners and student learners can then together create a vision, a mission or purpose that they can collectively uphold and then be able to stand back and reflect on where they've come.